Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm gonna to talk to you about different basketball moves that you can use out of either a shot fake or a drive fake. Yes, this is a re-recording of a re-recording of a re-recording. Had some technology issues this week, but anyways, let's get down to this video. So I guess this is Hamilton's type of graffiti. Fantastic. Okay, so each one of these moves after a fake can be both used after a shot fake or a dry fake. And you can even combine those two fakes and then still do these moves afterwards. So first off, what I should say and explain to you first is if you do do a dry fake, if you're gonna do a dry fake, that's your pivot foot, so you need to reach around with your right foot for two reasons. For one, obviously you're not gonna do a fake and then start dribbling that way because that's a, that's a travel but also the other reason why you would want to do a fake and bring that foot around is when you start driving when you put that ball down your leg and your arm are going to be protecting the ball from the defensive player from stealing the ball so that's just something very basic first off that I should start this video with however here's the first move Okay, so in this first move, what we're going to be doing is doing a simple jab fake or shot fake, or you can do both. You're going to then take one dribble out of it, and then you're going to cross through your legs to the other direction. So basically what you're doing here is you're going to do a drive fake or shot fake, one dribble, cross. That drawing is screwing me up. <laughs> What a fantastic drawing. <laughs> okay, so in this first move, you're gonna do your fake. You're gonna take one dribble, cross through, and then continue in the other direction than where you started. Now, the reason why we're doing this fake is, let's say we've done our fake, and now he's taking a step that way. Now, we've taken one dribble out towards this direction before we cross. Now he's gonna be trying to recover. So now, you have the possible option actually breaking his ankles. However, what you're essentially doing here is he's gonna be recovering, you're gonna cross over, and now, because his momentum has brought him that direction and now bringing him back in this direction, he's probably not gonna be able to stop fast enough to then guard you when you're going back in the original direction that you faked in. So, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna do our drive fake or shot fake. And then we're gonna drive right towards the rim. So this is it in fast, quick motion. Okay, so now in this second move, we're essentially doing the exact same idea. However, instead of doing a crossover, we're gonna do a reverse dribble. So we're gonna get our ball, we're gonna do our fake, we're gonna take one dribble, reverse dribble out, and then we're gonna start driving again. Now the idea behind this one is very similar to the last idea, or the last move, which is do your fake. In this case, if you're driving faking, he's gonna take a step that way. If you've done a shot fake, he might have hopped a bit. You're gonna take one dribble out towards the left side, then he's gonna be trying to recover to that spot to try and cut you off. You're gonna then do a couple of reverse dribbles. You're creating space, which now allows you to either take that shot or have him recover out to you so that you can drive towards the rim. Okay, so there's two moves so far. Now, next, what we're gonna be doing is a move that I know you're going to absolutely love. Okay, so this next move I'm gonna show you is called the hesitation. So instead of doing a fake backwards or essentially another fake, all we're doing here is just getting that ball, basically doing a drive fake or a shot fake, taking one to two dribbles, stutter stepping, and then continuing towards the rim. Now this is a great move to do, and it's a very easy move to do, no matter what age you're at. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna receive that ball, we're gonna do a drive fake or a shot fake, we're then gonna go in the other direction, dribble, hesitate, and then continue again. Now, of course, that was very slow, 
This is what it looks like when you're going a bit quicker. Now, between these three basketball moves out of those fakes, you're gonna be a super successful basketball player when it comes to trying to score. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.